What's going on everyone and welcome back to Knife Life EDC. I got a new blade coming at you guys today. It's coming from Hogue and it's their like collector series. Um, I actually bought it from a new website. I'm sure some most of you know, but um, Blue Creek Knives. Um, it's kind of cool. I, I opened the box and they had this like little personal note in there kind of just saying what they are and even like signed and stuff. I thought that was kind of cool. And then they also like came with like custom little goodies like baseball cards, Jolly Ranchers, and um, just some stickers and stuff. So I thought that was really cool. I like that. And I'm... Um, Got another knife coming from them. I think it should be here shortly, next few days or whatever. But um, I think I'm definitely gonna start shopping there just cause that was very kind of something I really enjoyed seeing. I thought that was really cool. But this is the Hogue Deca Collector Series. Um, this is a knife I kind of been looking forward to. Just didn't want to fork up the money for it yet, but it was finally just kind of gave in. And just general stuff just comes with it. Paper, probably just directions or cleaning wise or something like that, maintenance stuff. Um, sticker. Yeah, just normal stuff. Um, but here it is. Alright, look at that. That's just, I guess it's so cool looking. This is actually my first knife with a carbon fiber fiber um, handles on it, so that's kind of cool. This looks really nice. I, I, blue is my favorite color, so obviously I had to get some blue screws on it. And a blue um, thumb stud. That's pretty cool, I thought. Flip's really good. Yeah, that's really pretty nice. It's not bad at all. I don't know, I still like my Kaiser Lock, uh, or excuse me, my Kaiser uh, Drop Bear. I don't know, it's just, I don't know why that thing just is buttery smooth to me. But the thumb studs are, are a little different. They're, um, they're not like as smooth like the other ones. They got like little edges on them, I guess. Little fine edges. Not like painful, like hurt wise or hurt wise or anything like that, but just like, you know, you're going to grip onto it, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. It's not smooth. You're not going to slip off or anything like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, I do like the tritium, uh, also glow in the dark. Um, I guess, I think it's called Able Lock. The Avalok uh, device, it's pretty cool. I just like that it's glow in the dark too. I'll have to try that out later. But yeah, that kind of also kind of sold me on it too, just how because the green is bright, you know. I don't know, bright stuff kind of just you know that's what I like. It does have the screws, so that's kind of weird. It almost looks like the pocket clip is a little recessed, just ever so slightly. Like if you look right there. I don't know, maybe that's just to even it out and everything so it sits flat. But the screws are, aren't recessed though, so I guess that would, might be catch on your pocket. But it does have that deep care pocket clip. Um, it's not too bad. Looks, looks like you like your general pocket clip. And the blade is centered for the most part. Not too bad. But yeah, like I just really dig this. I really dig the, the blue thumb stud, the blue screws. I think it overall is pretty cool. And the carbon fiber handles, like that's... They look just nice all, all around. Like, I think this is going to be a nice pocket or a everyday care blade. Um, the total length of the blade is 3.25. Um, also, the overall length of the knife in general is a 7.5. So it's not too bad. It doesn't really... It's not as big as their other knives. And I actually was surprised on the blade, like the size of it. I thought it would be a little bit bigger. But, like, overall, like, wide wise but i guess it's more for slicing because look how look how small that is if you don't mind me hitting my camera look how like thin that is so i definitely believe that's gonna be a, a slicing knife i can't wait to try it out too but yeah i was just kind of surprised on how small the blade was it is a, a drop point but it, like overall like in your hand like it doesn't it, it feels good like this is my first carbon fiber so i didn't know about the handles but I don't feel like they're going to slip or anything like that. And the pocket clip doesn't really dig in or anything like that. It feels good overall. This is not my first Hogue. I'd have the, what is it, the Hogue, the six hour version, the K320, I think it is. I love that knife. Um, so that's why I kind of like trusted them to buy, to buy another Hogue. It's just, I don't know, I can't keep look, quit looking at it. Look how nice it is. But I don't know what you guys think about it. Let me know. Um, again, I think it looks great. Feels great. 
I'm definitely going to be fidgeting with this a little bit. Oh, and it is a CPM 20 CV for the blade type, for the blade steel. I'm guessing it's an Elishwitz blade design. I'll have to look more into it on my review. See who actually did it. I think it's... I'm not sure. But, I don't know if you guys let me know what down in the comments what you guys got to kind of think about it. I think it's going to be a slicey one. It's also, yeah, no fidgeting or no uh, back and forth in the blade. I know I bought some lately that are kind of back and forth, so I don't know. That's a bonus. I really like the way it looks. It's also reversible. I don't know. I keep, the more I look at it, the more I find new things about it. So I was going to close a minute ago, but I keep finding new things. I don't know. I just like the texture. If you guys look at it, I like this, the design. How sharp that is. I don't know. Again, if you like the video, just give us a thumbs up. Just you have comments about it or anything like that, just uh, leave them down in the comment section and just subscribe. All right. Have a good day.